A heap is a data structure based on a complete binary tree, making it efficient to store and manipulate using an array. Today, let's discuss how a heap is represented in an array and the index relationships between nodes using a simple example. Imagine a max heap with the values 100, 19, 36, 17, 3, 25, 1, 2, and 7. In a complete binary tree, nodes are filled from left to right at each level. The last level can be incomplete, but the nodes must still be aligned to the left. This structure allows the entire heap to be efficiently represented in a single array, without the need for pointers or linked structures. In this representation, the root node, 100, is at index 0. The second layer, containing 19 and 36, is stored at indices 1 and 2. Subsequent levels continue to fill in order. The relationships between nodes can be calculated using simple formulas. For a node at index i, its left child is at 2 times i plus 1, its right child is at 2 times i plus 2, and its parent is at i minus 1, divided by 2, rounded down. Let's walk through this. The root, 100, is at index 0. Its left child is at 2 times 0, plus 1, equaling 1, and holds the value 19. Its right child is at 2 times 0, plus 2, equaling 2, and holds the value 36. Now, node 19 is at index 1. Its left child is at 2 times 1, plus 1, equaling 3, and holds the value 17. Its right child is at 2 times 1, plus 2, equaling 4, and holds the value 3. For node 36 at index 2, its left child is at 2 times 2, plus 1, equaling 5, and holds the value 25. Its right child is at 2 times 2, plus 2, equaling 6, and holds the value 1. To find the parent of a node, let's take node 17 at index 3. Its parent is at 3 minus 1, divided by 2, which equals 1, holding the value 19. Similarly, for node 1 at index 6, its parent is at 6 minus 1, divided by 2, rounded down to 2, holding the value 36. This array-based representation is efficient because it lets us quickly calculate parent and child relationships with these formulas. It avoids the complexity of pointers and linked nodes, making operations like insertion and deletion faster. You only need to adjust array elements to maintain the heap's properties. While the array format is ideal for implementation, the tree structure is often more intuitive for understanding the logic behind heaps. In future discussions, we'll use the tree for explanations and the array for implementation.